There is a serious drought in Jamaica and farmers are being affected, especially the yam and potato country, Trelawney, where the Irish potato and yam producers are suffering due to the drought. You are listening to What's What Jamaica News TV, where we bring you the latest. Stay tuned. And here are the details. Farmers of yam and Irish potatoes in South Trelawney are reportedly suffering particularly terribly consequences as a result of the extended drought that has been affecting parts of the island. Long known for its high crop yields, the region is acknowledged as having produced 70% of the yams Jamaica exported in 2022. Wayne Smith, a farmer in the wire fence neighborhood close to the Trelawney Manchester boundary, bemoans the fact that his farm's yam production is declining as a result of the ongoing drought. Since November, there has been hardly major precipitation Rain is essential for the yam's growth and early production, especially a hill of yam that used to produce 8 pounds of yam is now barely producing 2 pounds due to the lack of rain, added Smith, who is now anxious about his financial stability moving forward. Even though he still has yams to harvest, he expressed his strong reservations that the amount will be as large as in previous years. The round leaf yam only grows underground and does not provide any food. That means there won't be any yam for markets or exporters, Smith explained. The farmers are already suffering financially as a result of this circumstance. Big farmers bought yam and fertilizer them. Nevertheless, due to the lack of rain, the fertilizer did not dissolve as intended and instead lingered on top of the soil and burned. More fertilizer will need to be purchased when the rain arrives. Also, that is anticipated to witness a sharp increase in yam prices. Paula Mullins who lives in the nearby lime tree region and cultivates both yam and Irish potatoes, claimed that this year's harvest was the worst she has seen in a long time. I obtained some supplies from the Rural Agricultural Development Authority and purchased materials for planting Irish potatoes. Production is declining and and the leaves are turning yellow. The potatoes are only slightly larger than a marble when you examine the ground to see their size. Rita Hilton, who sells Jamaican food to Canada, England and the US, claimed that she is currently having difficulty fulfilling her commitments since demand is outstripping supply as a result of the drought. The reduction in output has impacted my capability to serve my international markets. I'm used to sending out two containers a week. I now have one left. Additionally, buying one container and almost cost the same amount according to Hilton. For instance, I paid $90 a pound of yam. Currently, the cheapest is 150 but I predict it will soon rise to 200 per pound. Hilton is urging the government to implement an agricultural program that should incorporate rainwater collection, perhaps on the same size as Brazil. The president of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, Lenward Fulton, is in favor. The time for the government to build ponds to collect rainwater has long since passed. Offer farmers low interest loans in areas with extensive ponds can be set up and used to help farmers during the drought. We face a major threat to our food security if this is not done, according to Hilton. I feel 
I empathize with the farmers. I know what the farmers might be going through as somebody whose parent was a farmer. So guys, remember to like the my videos share my videos subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all new videos and i will see you back here on my next youtube video